Alex, so we're here at uh, Wings Over Wairapa 2013. You're here with the contingent from the New Zealand Military Vehicles Collectors Club. Um, we're standing at the moment in front of what everybody would know as a Bren gun carrier. Yeah. Is this particular unit an actual Bren gun carrier or is it one of the other variants? This one here is a New Zealand built LP2A. Um, it was based on the Australian design and um, built here in New Zealand through um, the railway workshops and that sort of thing. Um, this particular one is um, a conversion. It's um, had special exhaust to stop um, grass fires, called a Tekabo conversion, so the exhaust run out the side rather than underneath. And um, it's also got a tow attachment on the back to tow a six pounder anti-tank gun. And um, this one's just been recently rebuilt by Lou Skelton. And um, he comes from fielding and he's done quite a nice job on it. So there's four carriers here this weekend. Are they all identical or? No, we've got um, quite a few variants here. We've got a um, Lloyd personnel carrier, which is like it's got a soft skin roof on it. And um, that brought down by the National Army Museum. And then we have the New Zealand built carriers here. And then we also have an English built um, three inch mortar carrier. So quite a range. So you say this one was a New Zealand built one at Trentham. I mean, how many were actually built in New Zealand during the war? Um, I can't remember exact figures, but there, there were quite a number, quite a few hundred built, um, ranging. We had um, our own, um, they started at LP1, and um, that was based on the um, British Bren carrier. And um, then, and there's one of those being restored up in Tauranga uh, by Mr. Linney. And then um, there was the LP2, then they went to the LP2 modified, and uh, of course the LP2A. Uh, we never got quite to LP3, but the Australians did. And a lot of people would re remember a lot of these carriers from, from farm use. Is that where most of them went to after the war? Yeah, a lot of them ended up on farms. Um, this one here was used until quite recently, I think, um, hauling telephone poles. And um, so there's a lot sitting under the old Macarthur trees and that, and that's where you like to find them. Um, there's still a few out there on farms. They um, they were quite a good use of nice flat plate, so farmers would hack them up and um, use them for other jobs. So what we have to do is find matching plate and weld it in and try and make it look original again. So it's it's quite a job when you something quite cut down. Uh, one of our members from Taranaki, he's seen one that was so cut up that it was just the welds left. So yeah, that's um, that's what we've got to deal with. So in some cases a big restoration job and others probably not quite so bad. Yeah, um, this one didn't take too long, I think about two years to put together. But um, the one my father rebuilt taken about eight years to put it together, finding parts and that sort of thing. So it's quite a mission sometimes. Alright, Alex, thanks for that. Alrighty. Thank you very much.